Let's talk about these two bald buff dudes. <laughs> oh, man, I love how, again, they're like the same height. They're like the same height. But we all know what's really happening right there. Um, so this is an interesting turn of events when it comes to the Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson beef. That's right. They should just, uh, if, they, if, they make, if they make up, they should, you know, they should, they should get a, they should totally just buy a beef company and just call it the, uh, the Johnson, the Diesel Johnson beef. There you go. It sells itself. You know, they should, they, I mean, of course they eat a lot of it. I mean, come on, you know, get the, the muscles like that without downing some, uh, some good old beef. But, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is getting interesting because last we heard the last time I talked about this, Dwayne Johnson was talking about how he still gets pitched Vin Diesel jokes. Like apparently there's going to be some Vin Diesel jokes in red notice that he didn't write, but people pitched it to him and he was okay with it. And they're going to be in the movie. So now we have this right here. Uh, Vin Diesel went to uh, Instagram with a very questionable picture, by the way. <laughs> now, here it is right here. It's like, did he did he make himself look bigger? <laughs> because the, original, the picture looks like this. Okay, I mean, we all know that he's standing on something. We all know he's standing on some kind of freaking, you know, apple crate or whatever the hell they call it sometimes. Right here, it almost looks like he <laughs> made himself look bigger. I don't know. Who knows? But right here it says, my little brother Dwayne, which I know a lot of people are like, little brother, little? It's like, well, he is older. But I guess the joke is the fact that he is smaller than Dwayne. But yeah, my little brother Dwayne. The time has come. The world awaits the finale of Fast 10. As you know, my children refer to you as Uncle Dwayne in my house. There is not a holiday that goes by that they and you don't send well wishes. But the time has come. Legacy awaits. I told you years ago that I was going to fulfill my promise to Pablo. I swore that we would reach and manifest the best fast in the finale that is 10. I say this out of love, but you must show up. Do not leave a franchise idle. You have a very important role to play. Hobbs can't be played by no other. I hope you rise to the occasion and fulfill your destiny. Ow! Now, one of the things that I also, also question, has all this beef shit been bullshit? Has it all been BS? Has it all been a wrestling style thing that's supposedly happening in real life? Are, are they really just like, it's just, it's just all been one big joke to lead into the Fast 10, the finale, to make it even bigger than it should be? Like, just to add to the marketing? Like, they've been marketing this whole thing. they essentially been marketing Fast 10 for three or four years with this whole beef thing. That's what I kind of wonder. You kind of kind of makes you wonder about that. I mean, the fact that he reached out, he reached out on social media, just reaches out on social media and says this big, long thing, kind of heartwarming a little bit, talking about his kids, referring to him as Uncle Dwayne and whatnot. It kind of makes you wonder, kind of makes you wonder a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Hmm, right? It's just, uh, yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. The beef is fake. Where's the beef? You don't want no beef? You don't want no beef? Come on. Yeah. It just kind of makes you wonder. Maybe this was all BS. We've all been had, folks, because Dwayne Johnson comes from that world where they have, like, the fake beef and they sell it. What sells these events in the wrestling world? The beef. The beef. So it kind of makes you wonder if they're just taking that. This could be very brilliant. And I wouldn't put it past them. Okay? I wouldn't put it past them. Because first off, even though I'm tired of the fucking Fast and Furious franchise, it's still a huge conglomerate of a fucking franchise that is not, that not have any cape shit or anything like that. It's huge. It's huge. Huge. And then Dwayne Johnson he is a marketing man. He's a businessman. I just would not be, I would not put it past them that this whole thing has been bullshit. And it's just been, hey, let's just sell it like that. See what happens. I don't know. Dwayne Johnson hasn't responded yet. I wonder if he's going to respond publicly. He's going to have to, no matter what. He's going to have to respond publicly. He'll probably do it in a video. This is what's going to happen. Dwayne Johnson, maybe not. Maybe in a couple weeks from now or something like that. Who knows when? He's going to respond in some kind of crazy video. It's going to be a, a video where, I don't know. I mean, 
He's going to take it. You know, remember what happened when he uh, was, was announcing Black Adam? Uh, you know, he's going to say the high t- hierarchy in the Fast and Furious franchise is going to change. I don't know. Yeah, that's a stupid joke. But, you know, he had Times Square just kind of go off with all the uh, the Black Adam stuff. He's going to do something or maybe he's going to announce that Hobbs is going to be returning for the Fast for Fast 10. I don't know. I just wouldn't be surprised. It's like you can't put this past him. You really can't. You can't. So, you know. It just seems like this is very much, it's been kind of almost like a setup kind of thing. Uh, Let's see. Danny. Oop. Boop. There you go. Danny. The Rock learned in the wrestling world that what sells is fights and arguments and showing up. Uh, The other person, we are all fooled. Touche, Rock. Touche. Yeah, I know. I mean, it just kind of seems like it's like that. And, And you know what? Good. Good on them. I'm not hating on it. I'm not hating on it. Guy's constantly selling, so... And thank you for the super chat, Danny. Appreciate that. Five bucks. You're awesome. So I would not put it past him. Hope he replies uh, with kiss the rings, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. he's gonna. Re- I think he's going to reply. It's going to be something very interesting. It's going to be something very interesting. It just seems like this is all too planned. It's all too planned to me. So and I hope he does. And I hope we do see Hobbs in the last movie. You know, you have to. I have a feeling we're going to see everybody who's ever been in the Fast and Furious movie, we're going to see everybody. Eva, we're finally going to see Eva Mendez come back, for fuck's sake. Remember when she was teased at, like, the end of the fifth one? And we're like, oh, yeah, Eva Mendez is back? Thank you. I think she's going to end up coming back. Gal Gadot's probably going to end up coming back in some form. She didn't die. She's just been in a coma for the last seven years or whatever the fuck they're going to do. That's what's going to happen. You already know that's going to happen, right? There's, I guarantee you Gal Gadot is coming back. I think she's going to be coming back, you know? Han's going to find out she's been in some fucking hospital for like seven years in a coma, and he's going to wake her with the power of love as he's eating some snack. I don't know. <laughs> they they retconned his retcon for the last movie. I mean, it was just like, you kill Han, you show how he got killed, you show who killed him, and now you show that it wasn't... <laughs> I mean... It's gotten ridiculous, but I just I, I just have a feeling that Gal is gonna end up coming back. Because she's the superstar now. She is now out there, so like why wouldn't you wanna bring Gal Gadot back? I, I just have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. I just have a feeling. So we'll see. But uh, you know, it <laughs> it would be funny if just Dwayne Johnson's like, nah, I'm too busy. 